Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to work with Lower Thirds graphics. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Lower Thirds graphics are commonly used to display a person's name and title or company affiliation. For example, when you're watching the television news and the reporter comes on and it says the reporter's name and, you know, what news company it's from. That's a Lower Thirds graphic. Lower Thirds graphics can also be used to convey other information such as your website address or your contact information and so on. Now you can use existing graphics inside of Doodly or you could import some of your own. For example, this one here is something I created on my own and I imported it. But this this little shape here, this is a doodly shape. And if we wanted, we could bring it down here and use it as a lower third. You know, as long as it's in the lower third of your screen, it's a lower third graphic. Okay, so anything's really fair game. So let me show you some of the ones that are inside of doodly. You want to go to props and categories and then shapes. And like this one here, a bold rectangle, which is the one we're looking at here would be fine. I often use these dotted rectangles. You can even make one with a simple horizontal line and then, you know, stretch it out and put the character's name on top of it. Something like so. However, you may be noticing that it's a little bit limited. This one would work. Now this one is transparent. So if you overlay it, it's going to look really busy on top of the character. So as you're seeing, we do have some limitations with what's included inside of Doodly. So I'm going to recommend that you either get your own graphics from a, a royalty free image site like Pixabay or FreePick or create your own. And I'm going to show you how to do both. So let's go over to freepick.com. I have a premium license so I can use these. You can also use them for free, but you do need to credit FreePick if you do that. So I already had picked out one and I have it downloaded and I opened it into Affinity Designer. So here it is. This is what I have. And I want to use this little follow me on YouTube as my graphic. Now, how am I going to deal with this, right? It's got a gray background. It's got some shading, which I may or may not want. It's got words already that I have to erase. So what do I do? Now, in order to work with this and get it ready for Doodly, you're going to need a decent graphic design program, ideally one that supports layers. This one is in the EPS format, so it has a bunch of layers. And we want to turn off all this other stuff so that we only have what we want. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it in Affinity Designer. So I'm going to go up to my file menu and choose document setup. I'm sorry, it's off screen. And I always want to make sure I have transparent background selected under color. Next, I want to get rid of this gray background that is covering up transparency. So if your layers panel is not already expanded, go ahead and expand it by clicking the drop down arrow. And the first thing I want to do is see if I can find this gray background. And usually it's on the bottom. So I'm going to just scroll. And let's see what happens when I take this away. Boom. Okay. So I now have transparency. I do have this shadow I was talking about, so we'll decide if we want to keep that or not. So how do I get rid of all this text? Well, let's make sure we have our selection tool and then let's go ahead and just select it. Okay. See how I select the F and it disappears. So I could do these individually just select them and get rid of them. Or I could look over in my layers panel, and just use my shift key and select a bunch of them all at once. And you'll notice that just deleted the text. It left my nice graphic here. Now, I think I don't want this shadow. So I'm going to select the shadow and delete it. And now I have my graphic. And this is the only one I want to export. Now to export this, I need to crop it and Affinity Designer is a little weird this way. So first of all, I'm going to go crop and then I want to select it. 
and instead of just cropping everything out i still see everything but if i go to export so i go up to file export over here under area i could tell it to only export my selection and that's what i'm going to do so export i'm going to give it a name we're going to say lower third and save it now let's go back to doodly let's go back to all and now I have my blue plus sign, so I'm going to add it. I'm just going to drag it in. And here it is. Okay, so now we can put it on our scene. Get rid of this guy. Put it behind our text. Resize our text. Okay, so that's one way that you could do it. My other suggestion is if you wanted to create something like what I had earlier, you can do it in vector.com, V-E-C-T-R.com. Or you can go to Pix if you have Pix, which is made by the same company that makes Doodly. And go to New, choose a custom image, choose 1920 by 1080, click Create, and you'll notice the canvas size is the same size as our screen. Now go to the shapes tool, just right here, and let's just draw a shape. Boom. You can make it as fat as you'd like. And that's one of the reasons why I like the 10, 1920 by 1080 size, because then I can kind of visualize how it's going to fit in my doodly screen. And I'm going to position it down here. And then if I want to change the color, I could do that. Let's go for a red one. And do we want an outline, yes or no? I'm gonna say no. Let's just hit apply. Oops, say no. And what I did on the other one, I stacked a bunch. So I just went ahead and copied and pasted. And then I changed the color. So let's, let's do green. I guess we're doing a Christmas theme here. <laughs> and then I go over here to move and I just stacked it like so. That looks good. So now we want to export it. Well, I don't want to export this whole transparent area. So let's go ahead and take the crop tool. And then now I can crop it. Hit apply. Hit export. Let's give it a name. We'll say green lower third. Save. Go to doodly. Props blue plus sign, drag and drop it. And now let's get rid of this guy. And we'll put it into position. Put it behind our text, resize our text. And there we go. It's a couple of different ways that you can work with lower thirds graphics in your doodly videos. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching.